Greetings, Aunt Theora. This is Magnifica Beatrice Canzonari di Palermo, or you may just call me Bia. Uh, I will be showing you how to position your drum and how to do the initial strikes required in order to learn to drum in any of the SCA or any of the drumming circles. So we're going to talk about the goblet drum. So this is a Jimbeck or Darbuka or you can also use a djembe to do these techniques. And I find that most beginners learn best by putting it on their lap. There is another method where you do it under your arm in play, but we're gonna go ahead and work from our lap to give you a better idea of what is going on and so you can see the drum. So there are three, um, positions that you'll be playing uh, and when you're resting your hands you're going to rest them uh, at this position down at the bottom closest to you kind of like if you look at the drum as a clock this being noon this being six o'clock kind of like four and eight so just slightly this so there are three strike movements that you do on this drum when you're doing Middle Eastern drumming the gym, there's a circle just about a couple inches inside the drum where the drum makes the best sound. You don't want to strike the drum in the middle, it comes out flat. So you're going to want to strike in this kind of inner circle here. So your gym is this. You're going to strike it like that. And you want to be, you don't want to be doing this hard because you will hurt your hands eventually. So what you want to do is you want to kind of be pulling your hand away more than you're just striking. So you don't get fatigue in your hands and you make the best sound. So. So you're kind of pulling the sound out of the drum more than striking it, okay? So your next uh, drum uh, position is going to be called tech. Uh, tech isn't where you play on this edge with your dominant hand. So tech, 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 tech. And this is, again, a bouncing movement. You don't want to hit this really hard because this edge will eventually bruise your fingers. So you're wanting to pull the sound out of it. Check. Now, when you're playing, you're going to do between doom and tech, you're going to be going in, doom, tech. by just doing this particular motion because this doom tech motion is very common when you're learning drum rhythms. So this kind of switch between. Uh, so in most rhythms, there, there's gonna be one you're gonna learn that's very basic that doesn't do this, but most rhythms start with a doom and a tech or two dooms and a tech. So you want to learn this cycling motion very early on. So we've got our other hand. It will do what's called the cod strike. This is the other side. There is a slight difference between tack and ka because your dominant hand is usually stronger than your non-dominant hand. So doing your text cos, tech ka, tech ka. back and forth here. So when you first start to practice, you're going to do your different strikes. Then your I would work on your tech and ka. Tech, 
and then you're going to want to put all three together. Boom, tap, cut. Boom, tap, cut. Boom, tap, cut. Boom, tap, cut. Until you can build up speed to where you can do this smoothly. And you don't want to get speed right away. What you want is to be able to do this very deliberately and in rhythm. Now, in our class, we're going to give you um, some MIDI files, some audio files to play along with. That way you could actually learn your drum rhythms by playing them at tempo. And you do have the ability to kind of slow these down uh, with technology. There's um, technology you can get for your phone that will slow clips down if you need to. Or if you want to reach out to us, I can get you some slower clips if you're finding that the clips that we've given you are too fast. Um, they're about a middle speed, so you are going to want to work up to it. But if you do this practice, this will get your speed up so you can learn the different emotions. All right, guys, let's, I'm going to go ahead and play what you're kind of going to work up to and give you an idea of what a full drum rhythm is. And that is all you need to do for a drum rhythm. And, you know, you don't have to play that complicated, you don't have to play that fast, but you can be part of the experience. So this is Beatrice, signing off. Enjoy your drumming.